Are we gonna do a derpy intro again? Me like melon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah. She likes melons now. She joined the Melon Empire. I'm very proud of her. We should all, like, um, if, if she doesn't stay as a Melon Empire member, we're gonna raid your Discord server, by the way. Did you know? Oh. Well, then I'll just steal all your melons. Oh, then you have, um, wait, let me check how much I have. You have 10,000 melons. <laughs> oh, nice. Should we just get to the main subject now? <laughs> Yeah, do you want me to show all the prehistoric dragons at once? Not at once, that would be okay. too- Okay. Okay, just put them one at a time. Can we start with okay. the- um... We've already seen this guy, but we might as well just take him out, because he's fixed now, mostly. Can we just take one more walk around this prehistoric fish? Beautiful. I, I really like this one. This one's grown on me more, more than it. Like started off to be. This is probably my least favorite. Not gonna lie, I I really think the carnivore, which we are getting to soon to, uh, is my favorite of the trio. But um, let, let's just talk about this one a little bit because this one it has this really aggressive, fishy fishy look to me. It it, it looks real. <laughs> Do you like the names I'm giving your dragons, by the way? Yeah. Okay, so this one is the flying fish. So just keep in mind, if you ever see this dragon, you better call it the flying fish. And if, if you ever see Arifia in her side, or surfer, you better spam her with flying fish. Um, but this this is the flying fish, and the mutations are where the teeth, I believe? No. Yes. Wait, what are the, the mutations? The teeth are a mutation. Yeah, the teeth are a mutation. I was right for once. Wow. That's new, actually. So the teeth are a mutation, um, and the rest I forgot. The teeth, the body scales, the wing scales. Um, he's got some tail mutations. He's got two two tail mutations. Yeah, the, the end rudders and the spikes on the side, right? Yeah. I really like this dragon. And with camera mode, I'm, I'm just gonna get get some nice shots for this because I am planning to do a little something. Uh, be, because yes, <laughs> but I'm tr just trying to get a little. Oh, it's getting dark. Can you? T why? Why can't you disable dark? I really don't like the dark. I don't know. I don't have any commands to set daytime. Is that come out, gonna come out though for VIP server? Is that? Is that? Can that be a thing? For when you buy a VIP server, you can just set the time for day and night. Yeah, like set the time. That'd be that'd be something that uh, Sam could probably do that. I would really like that because I really kind of hate dark. Uh, it, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it looks nice, but it's it's not like great for making videos and stuff. But um. Yeah, I imagine especially if you're trying to take a picture and the sun is like in the way or something, it would be useful for that as well. But this is, this is basically the flying fish, aka the Rindek, I think yep. it's called. So I think yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna get some nice shots and put some mo music over it right now. So this was basically the... um. The, um, the Rin, Rin, Rindak? Rindiak. Rindak. Rindak. The flying fish. I, I prefer flying fish. Oh, this one is pure. Oh, it looks, yeah. oh no, it looks terrible and pure. Oh <laughs> no. That actually It's looked, a pure neon. Oh my, that actually, no. <laughs> Rifia, I don't like this. This is actually ruined. I think I like pure dragons. I, I really like pure Feyros and stuff. But this dragon does not look good and pure. It actually looks horrendous. I really like what you did with the coloring on the, on the most recent dragons, actually. Because as you guys can see, it has like actually like texture and stuff, which a lot of dragons like don't have like this detailed of like textures. Yeah. But th this is actually it looks so nice with the colors. Is this a default, by the way? No. This no. that was just a random potion. I really like those colors. It looks really sick. So that was the Rindek. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the Rindek. 
Of course, I made a video about it a little bit earlier uh, this this month actually. So if you want to see uh, a little bit a longer video about the Rin deck, uh, go click the top right of the corner right now because there's a video there where I uh, basically show the Rin deck off a little bit more and show all the animations as well. Um, but for now, I wanted to talk about uh, how to get the in the prehistoric world and how you actually can obtain this dragon. Um, you guys might notice Riffia is not here anymore. I was editing this video um, and I was thinking to myself, you guys should probably um, be able to know how you actually get the dragons. So I've got a little bit of information on how to get the prehistoric world, how to get um, every single dragon, and uh, of course I got access to like playing with the dragons already. So you guys can trust this information, all right? This, these are Arifia's words. So I'm literally repeating what she said. Uh, by the way, tomorrow and the day after, we're gonna have the other dragons, uh, like like the uh, Carnivore, which I don't know the name of still. Um, you guys will see that tomorrow, and in two days we will see the Colossal Dragon. The one that everyone has been waiting for, the new biggest dragon. I will be talking about that one as well. She showed all the dragons, and she talked a little bit about how to unlock the prehistoric world. So I'm just gonna tell you guys that information right now. So, in order to unlock the prehistoric world, you have to go to dragons. Now you might be wondering, why do I have to go to dragons? Yeah, loading is still a thing, <laughs> I, I know. Let's just uh, wait a little bit and um, talk about the prehistoric world, uh, since this is loading. So the prehistoric world is, you will be able to unlock it in a different way. Because the prehistoric world is gonna be different. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Oh, Fluffy, you're so funny. Yeah, but I'm not kidding. You, you won't be able to unlock the dragons with just getting eggs, you have to unlock them. And in order to do that, you have to unlock the world first. So what you have to do, you have to go get every single dragon, except for the event dragon, so that has 21 dragons in total, uh, to unlock the prehistoric world only. That's only the unlocking of the prehistoric world. Then we have more quests of how to get the actual dragons. So, you basically want to get every single dragon you, um, except for the event one, of course, you want to get them to Elder. And of course, you do need to level them up. So, it, it has to be on a certain level. It has to be higher than level 10, but lower than level 20, Arifia said. So, I'm guessing level 15 or 17, since that makes the most sense to me. But I, I am not entirely sure. Because I think 70 would be a little bit too much, since the Mother Dragon, um, it takes a lot of XP to level up. But basically, that is how you unlock the prehistoric world itself. Now, you have unlocked the prehistoric world probably. You, uh, you're you probably playing it right now. Uh, or it isn't out yet, of course. So, what you want to do, once you have unlocked the prehistoric world, you will see a tab, and I don't have pictures of this, I am sorry. I, c I cannot show you exactly how it looks. I don't have pictures, I don't have access to that yet. I, um, yeah. It's, it's kind of secret. So, you, have, you, you will have this tab. But, uh, that says you have to do challenges in order to unlock the dragon. So there's a little bit of stories um, that um, I can tell you the story now actually. So long long time ago there was a pre peaceful, peaceful world. I was gonna say prehistoric. There was a peaceful world that was called the prehistoric world of course. And one day a meteor came down just like in the other worlds of course which killed every single dino dragon. Which was not that nice of course. Now, a couple billion, couple billion la uh, years later, you come and f discover the prehistoric worlds by sacrificing 21 dragons. And this is where the life and death element came, comes in. You know how you got the life and death element, which came out recently by the way? Well, the, the, it's actually part of the story. So what's, what basically the lore is of the story is you have the life and death element. And with those, you, are, uh, you have to revive the dragons. Um, this is actually not necessary for the uh, unlocking it, by the way, but this is just the little story of the prehistoric world. And it will be more detailed um, in the actual world, so you're gonna have like a little bit of the story, and uh, since the lava world is actually gonna upload a date as well, the volcano, that one is probably gonna have like a story and stuff well. So I'm, I think the uh, ocean world as well is getting a little story. So Dragon Adventures is gonna become a little bit of a story game as well. So you have a little bit more to do because what is happening right now is you play the world, you unlock the dragon and you stop playing because you already have everything. But let's go back to the Rin deck real quick because the way you can unlock it is you need 
to do uh, specific tasks. And what I mean by uh, with that is you have to go fishing and you have to go do everything in different worlds. So the tasks aren't gonna be in the prehistoric world itself. Maybe some of them, but it's basically gonna be sort of like quests, but then a little bit more story based. So you have like defeat four griffin mobs and you will have to do that for example but then a little bit more story based you're gonna have like these kind of missions uh, in order to unlock the Rin deck and this counts for every single dragon uh, that's coming out uh, in the prehistoric world of course and I will keep you guys up to date with everything I know and I know it's a little bit of a different content this because I want to go to the funny moments more um, but I guess tutorials don't hurt so I guess you just have to do the challenges uh, to be able to unlock the uh, Rindak dragon which is probably one of my favorite dragons out there because it's really different and the dragons keep getting more detailed and I'm sure many of you really like the Rindak as well by the way if you <laughs> how many times have I said this if you want to see the other dragons tomorrow and the day after I will show the other dragons and then the day after um, well, a little bit later, I'm gonna, um, I have, I've got footage of the Toothless Dragon, which was really, really cool. That was the first video we recorded, but it's gonna come out a little bit later, since the prehistoric world is gonna take a lot of time, so it probably will come after I unlock every single, uh, thing in the prehistoric world, and when I, um, basically, well, got, got every single thing in the prehistoric world, and so, so I have... A little bit of more content for you guys uh, after the prehistoric world of dragon adventures of course but i will want to focus on more different games as well as you guys have noticed by my channel so make sure you watch those videos as well but basically that's how you unlock the rin deck you just need to do challenges and you're gonna do a little bit of a tour uh, story and i have been standing still the entire time uh, but it's about the story of course um i i pretty i, I really like this rin deck so tomorrow and the day after, I'm gonna explain this stuff as well for the people that are curious how to get the prehistoric worlds and stuff. Uh, but it's gonna be on the endings of the videos. So make sure you watch those videos as well if you wanna see the other prehistoric dragons as well. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.